had a blast in Copenhagen jumping around in the waves and relaxing with some stunning views. Today it was unfortunately a time to pack up though and say goodbye to Copenhagen. Okay, we're checked out and we're heading off to town. We didn't want to go across the beach, so we are going down this ravine back path to town we field here. So we are in the middle of the jungle more or less, bugs around us, but beach dragging the suitcases across the beach like we did on check-in, so just through the forest here and then we are off to Koh Tao. Uh, made it. All right, in the back of this dude's truck here, we're going to pay 200 baht to get to the ferry. He wanted 200 per person, but it was like, nah, that's too much, dude. So we're doing 200 for the both of us, but we gotta wait for two more people now. So, taking in some of the breeze by the beachside here, waiting in the back of this truck. Alicia's just off in our local 7-Eleven, grabbing us some Red Bull and drinks, and then we are off to catch the ferry in the back of a pickup truck, as our new per usual. Welcome aboard. What do you got there? I got Lucas Red Bull. I got a pomegranate happy tea. Ooh. And seaweed and wasabi roasted bread beans. Yeah. Road snacks. We made our way to the ferry terminal and checked in at the Seatran Discovery Desk. We decided to use this ferry company again because their reviews seemed to be a bit more positive than the other companies. And we had used them once before, so we knew that bringing our two suitcases on board would be no issue. The trip took about an hour and a half and cost 500 Thai baht, or about 20 Canadian dollars each. I think just around $40 Canadian, so doing pretty good at that price. So AC is pumping. Because we got the sea view, we opted out of the garden view. The garden view kind of faced all the other bungalows up on the hillside. The hill is massive here. It was all the way at the cliff with bungalows. So we got the sea view front here. So we got another patio. We have all the ocean view. And we have the pool and main and common area right down there. And it looks like a pretty good little find for $40 on Koh Tao here. So and another perk to the Koh Tao Hillside Resort here is 40 bucks, pretty good for a view. We got the sunset side over there as well, so we'll catch the sunset with the boats going past today. But we also got free pickup and drop off to the ferry terminal, so you don't have to pay any taxis or negotiate any prices or hassle around with waiting for a full truck like we just did on Copenhagen there. That's a pretty good little bonus too. That saves money. We're gonna make the ascent up this killer hill that we've heard so much about in the reviews. Seems pretty steep, but we are gonna trek into town, find a convenience store to gear up on some supplies, and then we're gonna kick back. Sunset's happening in the background there. It's a beauty place on Koh Tao. Craziest 
lizard fella today. We have to Google what it is still. But it was like this long with his tail included. And it was black and yellow spots. It had big claws and he stuck his tongue out like a snake. And his tongue was like this long. He was terrified. He walked across the whole pool deck down below here. And then last night we had lizard in our room and he every like 30 minutes you'd be asleep and he'd go cheep 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 <laughs> he'd wake you up and he was so loud and we went snorkeling we wore our cool snorkels they're really nice because no water can go down the tube they got some fancy valve system in them so no matter what you can just swim around carelessly enough to worry about getting any water down your snorkel so that's pretty nice I saw quite a few fish. There was one spot where what, Alicia? There must have been like 40 little teeny yellow fish all feeding in there. Yeah, probably at least 40. Yeah, so that was crazy. And we saw some cool little silver guys. And they looked like they were like this long. But then we seen a beer can down there and it was like this big by the way that our perception gets distorted, I guess you could say, from the snorkel mask. So those fish could have been bigger than we thought for all we know. But yeah, saw some cool fish. Now we're chilling in the pool side here. Good day in the pool. I don't get my hair wet. Wow. <laughs> Did you survive? Woo. It's our last night in Koh Tao and we're gonna go have a nice dinner here at our resort restaurant. It overlooks the ocean and the sun has just set so it's pretty beautiful. Join us next time when we head a bit further south to the beach town of Aonang. We even visit the super popular Rayleigh Beach for some absolutely stunning views. <laughs>